Yo, what's up guys? We got Pogame here today. Today we have the tech. Today we have the technology. We have Screech, Reggie, and Lucky with normal gem explosion to deal with Blissey via, we basically thunder cage it and then explode and it's a guaranteed kill. Uh, Screech into explosion can also knock out defensive Landorus, uh, defensive Epaldon and things like that after a little bit of chip too. So it's really cool. Obviously Slow King as well. And then you pair it with like Scarf Hydreigon and Specs Gengar. So I'm excited. Shout out to Raltzboy for the team. If you guys want it, Check out my website, pokeindy.com. The link is down below. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, feel free to leave a like. You know, only if you enjoy it, any given point. Any given point. And lastly, while we look for a battle, my merch is available until June 25th. So it is almost done. But if you guys would like to pick it up, you can. The uh, the link is down below. As always, you guys have been killing it with the support. Volcarona, oh god. <laughs> A lot of threats here from my opponent for sure. Also, Lando plus Mew is weird. Like, is that the body press Mew or is that imprisoned Mew? I can't actually tell. Um, I like knock off Lando into Gengar and just click Shadow Ball. It's very strong versus the opponent. They don't have a lot that they can actually do it, so I'm just gonna start Lando early. As I end up going Mew. Now, I don't know if the Mew is like what the Mew is compared to. <laughs> Basically, I have no idea what this Mew is. I have zero idea what this Mew is. Um, I want to keep my Brave Bird on Corviknight. I changed the Brave Bird from Body Press, but maybe I regret having bo uh, no Body Press here because of Cor uh, Cloister. But we can still Brave Bird, which is cool too. They could potentially willow us me, but I still want a U-turn. Because guys, they're usually rocks on this type of team. I just wasn't sure because of the uh, Lanners there. But we bring out Gengar now. We just click, and that means that Lanners is probably either Scarf or Dual Dance. We just click Spec Shadow Ball here. We get a kill. Nothing on their team wants to switch into two of these. And uh, I guess Volk technically could come in if it wants to. Maybe Volcarona would try and quiver though immediately. I wonder if they're modest. I think I go Regieleki hard and just boom. And pray that they're modest and not timid because I'm actually. Oh, wait, no, I'm faster either way, so that's fine. So yeah, we have the normal gem explosion right there. I actually don't pick up the KO, which is very sad. That means they're really, really, really defensive. That means that they're very defensive. Um, in order to not KO, yeah, that's 100% defensive. Because otherwise, Volk, Volk would have a hella died, bro. Like, what? Yeah, they're like max defense Volk. That's like literally max defense. <laughs> Bold. Yeah, okay. So that means they have zero speed or damn near zero speed, which means that plus two... I should be faster with Hydreigon, and I can knock them out with Dark Pulse, which they can't set up on. I'm going to go off that because I only did 85% to them, and that's within the range of this. So I'm going to go Hydreigon here. I'm going to expect to be faster because you have to run basically near max speed to outspeed this anyway. And Dark Pulse should pick up the KO. Yep. Awesome. So, I mean, in this, I wanted to keep Reggie Lucky alive because it could have revenged like non-extreme speed Dragonite and things like that, but I'll take that. I'll take that either way. Um... Corviknight on an attack doesn't make a lot of sense. This thing is cool for Dark Pulse. I'm just going to Dark Pulse because if they boost in my front of my face, I should live. And if they're Bandit U-Turn, which I thought they'd be SD, I didn't want to go Corviknight and let something set up. But nothing really sets up too much on this. And we can go Swamper now and at least click Toxic. And Toxic hits everything as their substitute. What is my opponent's team, man? Come on. <laughs> Sub Dragon Dance. Damn. So, uh, flip turn into U-turn doesn't break the sub, unfortunately. If I defog, then I can get in Lando, and then Intimidate, and then knock off spam into Toxic. As they go hard, Cloister. I mean, they can't Shell Smash in my face, because they're most likely King's Rock, but they can potentially flinch me down with that. Now, listen, I recorded with Envy the other day, and I got zero flinches with Cloyster, so my opponent also deserves to get zero flinches. I used Cloyster for an hour and a half, and I got zero flinches. <laughs> they don't deserve them. <laughs> Do not give my opponent the flinches. Please. <laughs> uh, the great thing is I still have Shadow Ball, which is a giant threat, but I have to be really careful because, again, that Dragon Knight can just straight up sweep me. Uh, if Cloyster flinches me now, I just straight up lose too, right? And that's just basically it. If Cloyster flinches me, I lose as well. But Corvi just eats every hit from every Pokemon. So it's an, it's an amazing one, man. It sucks that this is sub-DD Dragonite. I hope it's no Roost, though. 
But then if it's no Roost, watch it be like some random Ice Punch. It's definitely Roost. It has to be Roost, right? I can't believe we fought Max Defense, Max HP Volk. I like this though. Like, my opponent just put in 2v2, 2v2. That's probably Max Speed, Max HP Dragonite. You know, Max Attack right here, Max Attack everything. What are you, what are you calking, my friend? Do you have Hydro Pump? Is that what we're trying to figure out? Like, I actually have, I have no idea. Alright, so yeah, let's see if we get flinched. I gotta watch all five. If I watch all five, I won't get flinched. Yes! Cool. So, only thing that can kill me now is probably the Boomer. Uh, and if they go Rilla Boom, I can click Toxic. Uh, I'm going Swamper with Toxic, obviously. I'm, I'm going Swamper, I'm gonna click Toxic. As a knockoff, nice. Click Toxic, we know their choice, Ben. There's no point in switching. I, I think I'll infinitely click Toxic, actually. Because if I landed on Dragonite, I can win with Corviknight. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So that is that. Click Toxic again, just in case they randomly switch into Dragonite now to save this for Grassy Glide. I go you. Like Shadow Ball. As Dragonite comes hard in. Whoa! On a spec Shadow Ball? I mean, Gengar lives, Grassy Glide. And Shadow Ball is just. I, I think the play was to sack Rillaboom. Unless that's sub bulk up Landorus. Which I suppose it could be. I'm Shadow Balling again. Yeah, because I can't let them be sub bulk up. Because I click knockoff here. Yeah, if they were sub bulk up, I hella lost. So I click knockoff here. As I go hard into their uh, their Rillaboom, I think I just go Corviknight and then I knock off. I, I, I basically go Corviknight. I, I U turn or Brave Bird, depending on what they do here. Because Woodhammer shouldn't kill me exactly. They'll take that and poison. I can roost right now. Perfect. We both get off the Intimidate. Unless there's some random rest Landorus. I think I'm good. Let's see. I think Knockoff still breaks their sub too. Please don't be random rest Landorus. What can beat me? Okay, so it is a sub bulk up. It's fine though, it's fine though. Because I break their sub in the next one, and then I knock them out in the one after that. So I'm good. They're not going to kill me with Stone Edge. This should kill. This should kill. They still have leftovers, so it's going to be... Uh, this kills. I win. I win. Just crit Stone Edge won't even kill me. Yeah. Whew. Good game. Not bad. Alright, I just want to give a big shout out to Reggie Alecki, because if I did not... Well, also, uh, my Corviknight for not getting flinched. But if I did not boom on that Volcarona, it would have 6 0 me. Maybe that's why people say it. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll just pause until we find another game, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got another game, and they are number 25 on the ladder. So that's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, Bulu is scary. Heatran plus Bulu means probably nature power. So I have to be very careful around that thing. Um, my Screech Reggie Alecki is pretty decent here because I Screech into that, and then I can boom on the Landorus and ideally knock it out uh making well i mean gengar's job a lot easier too right uh, gengar is phenomenal here uh, i think i start off with Landorus because i get a knockoff early on something yeah this is the perfect start like getting rid of potentially Landorus's choice scarf is amazing for gengar uh getting rid of corviknight's item is always good too I'm assuming they U-turn on their own. So I'm going to U-turn out into my Corviknight. Uh, I'm expecting them to U-turn out, and this does let them get in Heatran, but the problem is that they don't have Grassy Terrain up. Sir? Okay. I guess I'll just U-turn again, whatever. <sighs> I did not expect to win a speed tie there. I'm going to be completely honest. Now, I'm very weak to SD Weavile, like I said. So I got to be careful here. Mmm... All right, I'm surprised they defog immediately. But getting rid of that, uh, their item, this helps Weavile come in. Obviously, yeah, this is a giant threat. 
If it's banded or beat up, it's a problem, man. But I, I just don't like... I can't switch into this Pokemon, so I'll just go Corviknight. As a triple Axel immediately. Okay, so we roost that off. We know they're SD. I'm going to Brave Bird here for a little bit of chip, just for Shadow Ball for later. And then we'll Defog right now. Yeah, so Bulu's whatever, right? Because... I don't know what Boo is supposed to do to me, but I, because I defog, they can't... I guess they expect me to go something, but they can't, like, go back and forth between this, exactly. We know this is rocks, so I should be able to bring in Swampert now. They can't Nature Power kill me, because I know, I know they're Nature Power. And I get up Stealth Rock here on Corviknight. And this is what I want. This allows me to bring out... Um, this allows me to bring out Regieleki. And I'm going to Volt Switch. Yep. I don't know why, but them being so high up on the ladder, I had a feeling they wouldn't play, you know, their landers the right way. So, um, we'll bring out Hydreigon here because we're Choice Scarf. Oh, this is great too because Regilecki is going to get rid of landers as well. And, uh, I can just make the Corviknight play and just defog. They can never get in Bulu plus Heatran because I always defog anyway. Yeah, so it's a defog right there. I'm assuming what they're going to do is they're going to go uh, Heatran into that, but they end up bringing out their Tox effects. Which is honestly the same exact thing, right? Like a Toxic or T-Spike. T-Spike is whatever to me, though. Yeah, I get up rocks and they're here to stay, which is great. And I'll flip turn here. If I get knocked off on my Corviknight, which I expect them to do, they can't hurt me as much with uh, Weavile. So, I think I'm okay with that. But at the same time, what I want to happen is I want to be able to go Regieleki. I was Earthquake. I'm Earthquake again. And now we'll flip turn. This is cool because they, they most likely recovered here. And I want, like I said, I want to be able to get in Regieleki. Yeah, so we're going to Screech on the Landorus. Mm hmm. And provided this connects, because I think it's, what is it, 95% accurate? Fence harshly fell. Landorus should die. There we go, baby. Hey, which means that Specs Gengar and my Earthquakes are extremely threatening. Extremely threatening. So that's just awesome. That's actually just awesome. Plus we get into the Hydreigon now as they go Bulu. They bring out you. I'm forced into you to get off a little bit of damage on them. Magma Storm obviously doesn't kill me. Follow it up with a knockoff. That would get rid of Heatran. Awesome. On Weavile, we click U-turn. Oh, they're choice. Oh, maybe they're... Uh... Yeah, we click U-turn. We can't let them SD for free. Because they can't KO Corviknight. Yeah. And U-turn ends up KOing them, which means I get to bring out Young Gengar! Trick them a choice spec so they can't do anything. As they toxic there and then they lose the game. Because all I gotta do is sludge wave. So number 25 on the ladder, it is over. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Good game. <laughs> Good game. So we have taken the points from number 25 on the ladder. Not bad. And Reggie Lucky did it. I didn't really get rid of Corvinite, because I was actually like half worried, right? It was like, oh man, I can boom on that mon, but. <laughs> why? <laughs> just like, like why? <laughs> why not just give up? I mean, I heard of playing your food, but like, I don't. I've never heard of your food playing with you. <laughs> like, huh, kinky. Whatever. It's fine. I don't know why they're doing this, but everything on the team worked. Not sure. <laughs> okay. Knock off on me the game on the spot. Did it? Yeah, but Corby was free with no item. I made the play so you had no chance. That was it. I mean, I, I just called what you had to do. I was clicking all game. Yeah, and that's why I won. GG. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say to you, but you could have been clicking all game, but I, I, I won. <laughs> so, that's I was clicking too, 
but I clicked the right moves. But yeah, guys, we'll pause until we find another game. We'll be right back. Must I always fight a Dragazolt? <laughs> that one is such a threat. Yo, but Reggie Lucky, low key, kind of nice. Honestly, great speed tier here. Does it? <laughs> I'm gonna go for Thunder Cage and get some chip on something. So Thunder Cage is really cool because it means they're trapped as well. So it's like it's guaranteed. Uh, it's guaranteed damage. It's basically Magma Storm. So I get that chip on it, and every and once I hit Blissey, I kill it too. So it's really cool because it doesn't let my opponent do anything after. And the offensive play is always going Swamper here. So yeah, because I thank you for critting me, but thank you for critting me into Torrent. I hope I kill you. Oh, I'm damp. Damn. <laughs> it's fine, though. I get to U-turn here and basically make the exact same play. I bring out Reggie Alecki now. Uh, we Volt Switch over Thunder Cage just because killing Blissey isn't... Because this mod 6 owes them, too. You know, let me just Thunder Cage. Whatever. Because I get the chip on Blissey. The thing is, this mod, like I said, straight up 6 owes them, too. It sucks that they crit me because now I'm a little bit weaker to Drake result. But I'll be okay. As they freaking Ice Beam here. So now I'll get 6 0 by Dragazolt. Holy crap. Mmm. Okay. I think. Are they specs? I think they're already specs. They're Focus Sash. What the hell just happened to me? <laughs> Whatever, man. You don't get to, you don't have to care. It really sucks that they crit me, but I think I can still win. Maybe. It's going to be close. It's going to be hella close. If my Swamper didn't get crit a hundred times, maybe. They're leftovers though. So I can bring out Hydreigon. And still beat all these Pokemon. Because they're specs, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Dragozolt's faster for sure. I'll just sack Swamper. Please don't sub. As a low kick there in their life orb. We bring out you. Click Sludge Wave because Sash is there. If you break through, we kill it and I can actually win this game. Thank you. That's all I needed right there. I'm just going to click Shadow Ball now. Ideally, they die. And best case is they can't beat Reggie Alecky. Actually, they can't beat Reggie Alecky, so it doesn't matter. They're like, they literally can't. I just go for Thunder Cage here. Ice Beam's not going to kill me. Holy crap, man. Relax. Bro. <laughs> Stop that. I'm not me. Why is this Blissey doing damage? I think I just Dark Pulse spam, though. Unless this is Thunder Wave 2. It's Rocky Helmet. It's Skull Burns Me, which is unfortunate. But I get to Dark Pulse here, which is cool. Um, My Reggie Alecky... Is not faster. I get a crit. <sighs> ah, I'm going for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn. I don't know if this is Scarf or not, but if I hit this for damage, I win the game with Reggie Alecki, so I'm going for it. Yeah, I, I literally win. <laughs> I won. I just won. Reggie Alecki just won. Because they can't even do this into Future Sight and beat me down. I just clicked Thunder Cage here. There you go. This is 80 base power. You die. Good game, dude. Dude. Oh my god, this game was wild. I could have trapped. Yo, Reggie Lucky put in work. I could have. Like that damn that chip on T-Tar was so cool too. It was actually really cool. Like that I know T-Tar crit every mon I had in the world, but that was super cool. Like, just seeing Reggie I love when I use Reggie Lucky because every single time I use it, it always reminds me how good this Pokemon is. Even though it's about to fall down to Yu Yu. Wait, did it fall down yet? Now, this mod is still fire. All right, we're going to pause it. We'll find another game. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, we got another game. Uh, we're playing. I knew, I knew I'd get this person again. Luckily, they changed up teams because the other team was actually a lot harder for me to break, in my opinion. Uh, but this will be cool. This will be fun. This will be hard. Um, cause Slow King is really good, Hippo is really good here, but my Gengar just clicked Shadow Ball, so that's really nice. Um, I don't think they're Scarf Carp, but they could be. If they're not, then Gengar is outspeeding everything besides Coco, so that's always awesome. And I love Toxic Landers because it doesn't lose to anything as a lead. At all. I'm clicking Knock, man. I don't care. Hello Earth. Scald me. 
the future site there, so I get a toxic off, which is awesome on Buzzwool. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Toxic again. I don't want to bring out my mod in a close combat. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, we know I'm faster. I'll U turn here. They could Ice Punch, but I think Corvi just eats anyway, so it doesn't matter. Close combat did nothing. That CC did nothing, which is Roost. As Heatran comes out, this gives me Swamper to get up rocks. Well played. And, uh, yeah, hard Corvi, because Corvi only deals with this, and a Paladon to an extent, yeah. Interesting. So I can get in Lando now. I'm gonna go for Knock here, because getting rid of its leftovers means that Gengar clicks Shadow Ball. Nice cart, nice cart. Are you gonna double again? Oh god, that did some damage. Okay, that's, that's hella banded, right? That has to be. So they'll probably double here back in the cart, but that doesn't make a difference because I always get in Swamper and I can always flip turn. I'm really surprised you're giving me this damage on the the uh, the Heatran, but I'm not, I haven't even used my Regilecki yet because I'm trying to Shadow Ball win. Uh, but let's find out if I'm faster. Yes, I am. So that's a free Earthquake for me. I'd hella expect me to go out into Corviknight here. So you, I try to get a kill. Yeah, that's fair. You should go for a crit right now. Instead of going Heatran or Coco as well. I realized that I'm making myself really weak to this Mon. And they can just Thunderbolt plus U-turn. They don't even have to Dazzling Gleam. So that's my bad. I'm... I'm going to get up rocks because they should U-turn. And that should give me a Toxic on Slow King. And I get a kill now at Shadow Ball. Well, if they go Hippo, they can recover. So, But Shadow Ball will kill Slow King. But Future Shot doesn't come this turn. It comes the next turn. So I just got to be careful. All right, so that's gone. Awesome. Earth Power actually looks a lot better now, too. Coco comes out to 6 Omi. <laughs> Dazzling Gleam into Future Sight kills everything. Um, I think that Reggie Alecki also smacks this thing too. They're going to hella Thunderbolt here. Corvi is my Kartana, but I know they're banded. So Corvi maybe isn't the play. I think I, I actually sat Corvi here, yeah. Because they just Thunderbolt guaranteed. So I bring you out. I think I screech on Hippo. If I boom on this, it doesn't make a difference for me. So I'm actually going to Thunder Cage here. Ah! Okay, they slacked off, so it didn't matter. But... Ah, they got me. They got me. So, uh, yeah, they got... I, I lost. I lost. I got overwhelmed by, uh, I got overwhelmed early by me trying to take that hit. Maybe this KOs, so I'll go Hydreigon. And go for Scarf Earth Power. Ah, if they KO'd, I had it. Yeah, I had a shot. Probably Helmet on everything, too. They just U-turn here. Into Buzzwool. I get in you and I click Shadow Ball. Yeah, so maybe if that counts. So I got I got definitely uh, carried away here. I always bring out you. Good game. So I got a little bit uh, a little bit carried away. It was it was tough because I think if I I should have tried to boom on Hippo that way I could try and Shadow Ball after. But I was clicking the entire game, so <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, I should have tried that. Oh my God, threats. We, we call these demons. <laughs> but it looks like they got dual screens. So Reggie Lucky's fast and everything. Hydreigon hopefully lets me deal with that. I want rocks up in this game too if I can help. Or if I can deal with it. Corviknight should help me with this. Especially because... Oh, I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, Coco's or uh, Lele's in this. But this should be more so for Lele and so should, uh, Poltergeist. I'm, I'm saying that like... 
I don't know if this is going to be Electric Seed or Psychic Seed. If it's Psychic Seed, it means it gets a Spadef Raise, which means that Brave Bird Corviknight will always KO. So it's going to be interesting. But Reggie Lucky is just really strong. Because I just get to click. I don't... Anybody else notice no terrain? I just want to know if I'm the only one that noticed no terrain right there. <laughs> I think it's Psychic Seed Halucha. Yeah, we're just going to flip turn. Repeatedly. Bring out Lando and click Toxic here. Because it doesn't matter what they do, right? I just U-turn always. And every bit of chip is what's going to matter because I want to make sure that there's no... What the... Yo, that's crazy because that actually helps them because I wasn't boosted by terrain. Anyway, I'm always faster than this Pokemon. Uh, Swampert is the play. This Corviknight has to come in later. Nice. I get a Brox here for Poltergeist. Awesome, and I end up living. I'm assuming they're Terrain Extender as well. We'll flip turn here, that way nothing can come out. I get in Gengar now, as the screen ends, and I click Spec Shadow Ball. And that should be a kill on something. Though it should be Terrain Extender, like I mentioned. Um, but the fact that they don't have screens is going to help me a lot because my Lucha, or my, my Corviknight can eat up Lucha's hit and with the Stealth Rock up, I can beat them 1v1. So they're going to go Coco and set up um, the light screen. That's really cool. And then they'll bring out most likely how Lucha, right? Yep. But I bring out Corviknight here. I live plus two close combat. Let's high jump kickers. Yeah, I live that. I knock him out there. Reggie Alecki is faster than Alakazam, which is going to help me out versus Zam, obviously. This is hella weakness policy. Dragon Dance, some crap, right? I don't know what he's about to do, but I'm going Landers and clicking Toxic. Come on, 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 come on. There we go, baby. I don't need Landers anymore, so I'm just going to click Knock Off here. As they try and get greedy there uh, to get a weakness policy, right? Yep, there's the weakness policy. I should be able to... Uh, the real play is to go Hydreigon, but I need Hydreigon for Poltergeist on the stored power. But they try to predict the Hydreigon. Thankfully, I didn't go out into it. And we just bring out my Hydreigon now. If they go Alakazam, I U-turn. I U-turn into Landorus and click U-turn again. And then I just click Dark Pulse and win the game. And this is not Gengar, so there's no Cursed Body. Which means Dark Pulse wins. This is the winning position I want. I also could have U-turn out to Gengar too. Which is probably stronger, because I don't even know if this kills. Ah, okay, it does. Good. Good game. I mean, they couldn't beat me at plus two anyway. So, nice. You got another one. Alright, that was good. That was good. Um, I guess I'll pause it until we find another game. Uh, if, we, if we do end up finding another game. <laughs> so these games be taking like a while. Sometimes they take like 30 seconds, right? In the middle of me talking. And otherwise, they'll just like take forever. But Screech Reggie Lucky was really cool. And the Thunder Cage Screech Reggie Lucky is attack, man. All right, I guess I'll pause it. We'll be right back. Sucks this game as Umbreon because Umbreon is something that I am <laughs> pretty weak to. Uh, but if I can get rid of it, I can spam Shadow Ball. So maybe I'll try and use Reggie Lucky versus Umbreon instead of killing Garchomp. Or if I kill Garchomp, then I mean, it's still... <laughs> it's, I guess Sludge Wave, if I get rid of Heatran, is also really good too. Um, giant threats on my opponent's team regardless though. I like Hydreigon because it's faster than Rillaboom types. Uh, it can U-turn immediately, which is good as well, and potentially Umbreon. And if I get that in, uh, what I can do here is bring out my uh, Landorus, and even if I get Toxic, which would obviously suck, but I can knock off, which is very important. Now they could just be Heal Bell as well, and I'm okay with uh, Torn coming in too. I'm assuming they knock me off as well. Which is why I want to U-turn and bring out the beast that is Reggie Alecki. And I'm just going to Screech. Actually, 16 something. Let me Volt Switch. I don't know enough about my opponent to know what, what move they're going to go for here. So, um, yeah, I stand by my play. For sure. I don't know enough about my opponent. So, bring out you and we'll trade Toxic here. Nice. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to U-turn to take Rock Skin plus Rocky Helmet, but I don't want Umbreon coming in. Actually, Knockoff is no U-turns better. 
because this is tank chomp. No, the best mid ground is Corviknight. <laughs> what am I saying? It does a both. So yeah, we get to defog here. And I'm assuming they try and toxic my Swampert, but it's the same thing. I, I just bring it out as a Magma Storm there. Uh, I'll get up rocks in their face as they go Rillaboom. Now, I'm pretty sure this is also Nature Power, so I want to be careful around that. And I'm pretty positive that uh, they'd knock off here if they have it over U-Turn. Yeah. So because I know that's Choice Ben, I'm going to U-Turn here on Heatran coming in. While his Torrin comes out. I'm going to Volt Switch once more. I, again, I don't know enough about my opponent to uh, to warrant me not making that play, you know? And because, again, terrain isn't up, I'm still wearing down Garchomp slowly but surely. And Pert's only here for this. I gotta be careful around Lele, but as long as Rocks are up, Hydreigon can check it too, so. That's cool. I still flip turn. Bring out Gengar here. I'm gonna trick. Just in case they go Umbreon. Because tricking Heatran is also really good too. I don't think they should ever give me Rillaboom because it's really strong versus me. So yes, we get the Umbreon, which is awesome. Foul play is annoying. I'll Sludge Wave once just in case they heal Bell. Curse Body? Nope. This is the same thing. It's always a U-turn. Right back into Pert. You being there is great. I wall you at Corviknight, so I'm not worried. I'm just going to Earthquake here. I get I get basically really good recovery out of that, so I like that play. And uh, Reggie Alecki is actually looking better and better now, Umbreon being that weekend. But that Heatran is a giant threat, man. Especially because I know they have... Maybe they don't have Magma Storm plus Nurture Power. Maybe they don't. We'll use my Hydreigon here. And I'm just going to click Earth Power. I can't switch, so I'm clicking Earth Power again, obviously. Okay, I get Chip on Lele, which is awesome. Because if Umbreon wants to wish pack, uh, this back, it needs to, you know, <laughs> it needs to do a lot in order to do that. I think you Moonblast here. I think I still make this play. As they Focus Blast, which should mean that Gengar can come out safely and click Shadow Ball. Just because it he hits E-Tran. This game is still rough, man. They might think I Sludge Wave, so they may go E-Tran. I'm still depending on Regilecki and Lele. Maybe I'm depending too much on it. I'll bring out Corvi here and Roost. Should be faster. I'll bring out Corvi and Roost. Because again, as long as Terrain isn't up, I'm good. This can deal with Rillaboom, as well as Umbreon, as well as Garchomp. It's always in my best interest. Alright, we're going to flip turn now. It could go Chopper, but they always go Rillaboom. Great. Are you turn on there? Ah, I'm not getting a lot out of this, man. That's the problem. Like... Like, I'm getting recovery, I guess, when I go pert, which is always good. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I got a good turn out of this, because not only did I get recovery, but I got I got very little chip on Garchomp, but it, it did matter. It did matter. I don't think Flamethrower from a non-boosted set will kill me. Same thing with Fire Blast, yep. All right, so we just want to get rid of the Garchomp. As long as Garchomp is dead, we can we can Volt Switch around, which is really good. And obviously, Magma Storms are annoying, but I still have Landorus at the end of the day. Another Earthquake. My Earthquake again. Again, if they always stay in, it's better for me. If they go Rillaboom, I get Recovery. So... It's good for me if they want to play the aggressive game. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to condition them. I'm trying. Torn is always a good mid-ground too, the thing is, but... I would love if they go Garchomp as well, because then I can Volt Switch around with Regieleki. As long as Corviknight's al alive, I don't think I'll lose to these five. <laughs> it's literally Heatran. So I'm hoping that they try and break. 
Perfect. Perfect. Like I said, I want a little bit of chip right there. That's perfect. And we can go Lanners here too. Because it doesn't care about what comes in after. I wish I had Rapid Spin. Uh, so I can go Regieleki as well. But nah, That's great. Umbreon being tricked is so good too. There's Torn. Uh, I'm going to U-turn here. I do dodge, which is very lucky. And the great thing is now, I can bring out you and go for Thunder Cage. And Thunder Cage is going to cancel out Grass Terrain. It will 2-8 KO Umbreon as well. Guarantee. So we get rid of this Umbreon. Yep, or Oko Umbreon. My bad. <laughs> Rillaboom comes out. I'm going Corvi as a Grassy, or as a U-turn. Uh, knock, knock off. Can't read. We bring out Young, Perk. Get my recovery right now, which is great too. Oh my god, they did it this turn? Really? I guess because Grassy Terrain is up. I didn't expect them to do it that turn, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm still flip turning. I got I got pretty lucky there with the... Um, with the, uh, the dodge. I can't believe they're going to do it this early. Bro, they wild. They hella wild. Nice. So this should be uh, Reggie Lucky Thunder Cage. That should be a kill on something, like I said. Yeah, so there's Lele. Obviously the Boomer comes out. I can go Lanners and sack it. As a U-turn. Think you turn again into Rillaboom? Really? Really? Oh, yeah, I was about to say. So I did Earthquake here. Magma Stone would not have killed me, and now I got the chip I need. Finally, man. Yeah, that's it. That's game. <laughs> Why'd they play? Why'd I misclick and play it back? So yeah, basically, like I said, I was trying to. I did condition them, but I didn't think they'd stay in that turn. Because they had the sacks. Can you stop showing me what they did? Because they had the sacks. But I was able to use their grassy terrain against them. Uh, and Reggie Lucky obviously did its thing. Beating Umbreon, beating Lele, scaring out that. So uh, this was a good one. Good game. They had a lot of Magma Storms and didn't miss one. Which was important. Or two. Uh, no, no, they only missed one, I think. But whatever. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Definitely uh, Screech Reggie Lucky. Uh, Thunder Cage. Just Screech Reggie Lucky putting in some work in the high ladder. Um, that was fun. I'm glad I was able to trip Umbreon. I'm glad I didn't lose anything to Lele as well. I, I stand by my Earth Power play simply because um, if basically Hydreigon had two things it could do here. It was either going to uh, Earth Power Heatran, which I don't think my opponent would ever let me do because they have Protect. They have Protect. And, or it was going to get a little bit of chip or revenge kill Lele. Uh, in that situation, if I got that chip, I could beat it with Regieleki. And Corviknight could always uh, knock it out too. So basically, as long as I got a little bit of damage on Lele, it couldn't come in on anything. Even if Grass Terrain was up, right? It couldn't come in on anything. So that's why I stand by that play. Uh, versus the... Uh, well, they weren't number 25 after because I beat them. But versus that person, I would definitely have slowed down my game. Uh, I kind of just... <laughs> I definitely went too fast. But yeah, I, I'm going to rewatch that replay as well. Because I know there's a few turns that I could have done way better. Uh, and maybe even Booming on a Powdown might have worked. If... I don't know if Earth Power has a, uh, a shot to KO Coco, but ah nah. So if Sam was still up, I had a shot there, but it wasn't. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, if you did, you know, let me know. Leave a like, subscribe. Screech Reggie Leggy putting in some work on the high ladder. I mean, Screech Reggie Leggy destroys Landorus. High ladder, eighteen hundred fifty plus, whatever. <laughs> Shout out to Blim. I'll see y'all next time. Uh, shout out to Rollsboy as well for the team. Check out my merch. Peace, guys.